Ukurugenzi hapa Kenya ukiongea mbaya kuhusu serikali among the worst things unaweza fanywa ni kufungiwa tu huko nje. Tuseme for example unaishi Canada ushindwe tu kurudi nyumbani, wanakufungia huko. Kama ni kelele umezidi upige kelele huko nje. He, other African countries <laughs> no masana ama ama pengine generation ni ya sai ndio presidents wamekuwa wa soft i don't know around 1920s mwanze kuna country pale chini inaitwa Malawi Malawi walikama kama ukapata president ametoka maju mayolos eh hey, walikuwa na hopes na uja mamba the guy's name was Hastings Kamuzu Banda aso Malawi walijua shida zao zimeisha kwanza Hastings alienda maju kusoma se, udaktari the whole surgeon Amerudi kuendesha nchi. Ah, hapa tumepona. Hawakujua <laughs> wanaenda kuingia kwa regime ya one of the worst dictators to ever walk the continent. It is said that some of the people when you were cross Hastings Kamuzu Banda vibaya alikuwa anachukua msumari na nyundo and I drive kwa vichwa zao. kayo dini inaingia ndani kabisa talk about hitting the nail on the head ben twenda kazi wa kurugenzi <laughs> my man headline hitters season ini ngapi ini season ngapi season 5 episode 1 maze kama ken if you see kurugenzi in the building you just know he's got the juice nani ananipigia simu yake tena niwapatie tu just an idea of how money exchanges hands huko in africa and how they get to make this money from people abroad na watu wengine wanatandikwa ni wase in very high places maka unashindwa mtu kama huyu amepigwa aje kama uko na time enda netflix ona kipindi inaitwa inventing anna ya msichana mdogo wa 26 years alikuwa anataka ku scam ceos wa big corporations and big banks in the world until kai chini mazo uelewe the psychology behind hii kitu yote unaweza fikiria wewe uwezi pigwa Eh hey, but maze after ni sketu stories hapa na pale anaye kupigwa ni rais. Unatandikwa quick regardless of who you are. Uh, check it for instance. Wewe wewe ni CEO wa a construction company in China. Unatengeneza kama barabara, you know, major mega constructions. Then all of a sudden an African walks into your office akona karatasi iko na tender wako na a mega project coming up tuipatie jina gani tuseme a railway ama an expressway like it's a mega project so big bucks anaiwekelea kwa meza anakuambia now my country inataka kuawadi tender to someone I'm seeing the Chinese taking it na sababu mimi wewe najua kazi yako I'd really love for you to take this. Hii kazi mimi nataka nikupatie. Kandarasi yenyewe ni ya 27 billion na mimi naona unaweza piga kazi safi. Wewe unaonaje? Of course mchina China ako hapa anaona yes. Yeah, why not? Biashara ya 27 billion ni biashara napiga vizuri sana. Tupige hii kitu. Then mwa Afrika anakuambia sasa there is a problem nimeona ma Japanese pia wamejipanga lakini mistaki kandarasi yende Japan no itenda wewe unafaa uipige so fanya hivi nitaka twende na wewe Kenya nikukutanishe na mdosi then tuone vile tutasaidiana hii kandarasi ikuje kwako 
in fact all expense paid usiingie hata kwa mfuko kukuja Kenya ama kukuja this african country wewe tutaketa for kila kitu machaina anaangalia huko Afrika anaona ya kwa hivyo siendi ya sara why not let's do it kidogo kidogo machaina anapanda ndege very fast anaingia Afrika anafika Afrika pale kwa airport anakujua na huko Afrika bana Mwafrika hajakuja peke yake ako na convoy ya magari in fact anaka yey hey, huu mtu ni mtu mkubwa sana kwa serikali hapa mchana anaingia pale nyuma amebukiwa the best hotel in town motoked inamtoa hapo haimpeleke hoteli no inampeleka kwa residence ya the head of state maybe state house ama maybe eh, 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 ofisi ya head of state wanaenda wanakaa mahali kwa lounge wanapiga story maybe hata head of state ajui but sababu ni figa anaonekana gaonekanaga huko uh, it's not unusual for him kukua kwa hizi maofisi ama hizi manyumba kidogo kidogo eh, head of state anapiga lap hapo nje wanaonana na huko Afrika mu Afrika anamuevia na mwambia haya mzee uko area uko sasa hata mimi niko sawa nashukuru tunaendeleza tu biashara kidogo hapa na rafiki yangu mchaina yako hapo anashangaa oh my god nimekuwa nikiangalia wikipedia huyo ndio head of state nimeona hiyo picha kai kai bwana juana na huyu hey, hii hi, tenda nimepata hii hii nimepata mwafrika anaambia mchaina unaona hata mzee ame acknowledge uh, mambo yetu ni safi unaona mpaka ametusalimia wewe unapata hii kitu unapata hii kitu lakini nataka tukacheze si tumesema kandarasi ni 27 billion nitafutie bilioni mbili nitafutie bilioni mbili mimi personally ni hakikisha hii kandarasi imekuja kwako then wewe wakati unakuwa tuko najua ni 27 billion lakini sema kuna vitu mbili tatu umeleta ujuzi fulani unataka kuongeza itatukost an extra 2 billion so badala ya 27 we quote 29 si bilioni za mbili zimerudi. Wao wamefurahi, mimi nimefurahi, hakuna mtu ameumia. Mchaina anaona hii kitu ina make perfect sense. Tutafanya hivyo. Sawa, so, ukirudi okay, China, nirushie bilioni zangu mbili haraka haraka. Ufanye pepa waka, mimi nifanye mambo yangu huku, nihakikishe umepata nini? Kandarasi. Mchaina anarudi China very fast. Amefurahi. Anajua kuna Mwafrika pale anamtoa kwa ngori. Ah! anaenda anakusanya 2 billion haraka haraka anarusha China I mean anarusha Afrika anaambia Mwafrika pale ni aje mambo iko sawa nisharusha Mwafrika anamwambia ina mambo nimeipata wadau nataka niwakumbushe kitu moja pale China kukaa ni kama unataka kukua corrupt that's a capital offense punishable by death corruption ni capital offense in China. Huko watu wanaekangwa kwa firing squad unakula risasi kwa kichwa ama unahangiwa kwa mti. So, huyu CEO wa hii kampuni ya China hawezi taka ijulikane ya kwamba amehonga Mwafrika ndio apate tenda ya kazi. Mwafrika si ashatumiwa bilioni zake mbili. Si ashashika kwa mkono. Anatuma email. Sijafurahi Nilidhani we ni mtu uko na akili lakini nimepata we ni mtu bure kabisa wewe. Sijafurahi hata kidogo. Mchaina anashindwa kai. Si biashara imeenda vizuri. Nishatuma mambo yangu si wewe unafaa ufanye mambo yako. Mwafrika anamwambia sasa wewe unaenda ukiambia kila mtu cha China umehonga rais. Unaambia watu umehonga rais wa, wa, wetu huku Afrika. Unafikiria hiyo inafanya tunakaaje? Mchaina anajua jafanya kitu kama hiyo. Anamwambia zi mimi hakuna mtu nimeambia kitu kama hiyo. Hakuna hakuna kama umesikia story kama hiyo hiyo ni propaganda. Hakuna mtu nimeambia kitu kama hiyo. Mwafrika anamwambia, "Ai, hapana. Mimi vitu nasikia zinifurahishi fanya hivi. Andika barua inasema hakuna rais umehonga ever. Hata hakuna rais ushawaikutana na yeye hata siku moja. Hizo story zote ni propaganda. Nothing like that has ever happened." Of course mchaina anaingia pale haraka haraka anapiga statement hapo mbio mbio anasema mimi hakuna rais nishawahi kutana na yeye hakuna mtu nimehonga Afrika none whatsoever 
anatuma the moment mu Afrika ashapata hiyo barua confirmation ya mchaina akisema hakuna mtu amehonga mchaina anamwambia asante sana bilioni zako mbili zitanisaidia hakuna barabara unajenga rudi kazi wewe wacha mchezo na uache kupenda vitu za free mchaina anashindwa kwani unanirusha mu Afrika anamwambia yeye nimekurusha enda useme mahali unasema si usha confess hapa umesema hakuna mtu ushawahi honga this is all we needed and just like that 2 billion shillings leaves china sasa iko afrika inafungua mabaa kila mahali na malnail pala zile salon za massage inaingizwa kwa biashara sijui gani mnajua hizi biashara you know them <laughs> na mnasema wa afrika si wajanjes wa afrika ni wajanja keyword afrika sijasema kenya mimi naongea juu ya afrika Naweza ingia kwa story yangu ya leo. If you didn't know, now you know. Wadau pale Nigeria kuna vijana wanaishi kwa hizi mitaa duni duni kwenye slum slum wanatesa kutesa. Kuna slum pale ina jina ngumu sana. Inaitwa Awon Shori ama inaitwa Awon Awon Shori Awon Shori niambie ni hapo kwa comment iko na jina fulani mrefu mrefu kuna vijana wamegrow hapo bana eh hey, wanasumbua kusumbua pale Nigeria kuna biashara inaitwa 419s coming kisikia mtu ni 419 na unamuogopa 419 ni nini in the 80s and 90s Nigerians waligundua design fulani ya kutandika watu pesa ana kupigia simu anakuambia ni aje mtu yangu mimi ni prince eh, 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 adewole kutoka wari nigeria eh na budangu ana pesa kuruka niko na fortune eh, ya this x amount naweza taka usaidizi fulani 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 alafu nikurushie pesa fiti eh, kuna mahali nimekuwa makwama kidogo kama unaweza kuwa na kama 1300 dollars nitumie alafu mimi nikikaa vizuri nitarudi nitarudisha sasa mtu akikwambia kitu kama hiyo unaweza kata hiyo simu na umtukane mbaya sana but in the 80s watu walikuwa wanaamini tu unapigiwa simu na Nigerian prince anasema anahitaji usaidizi wako my friend unaacha kila kitu unamsaidia hao vijana waliskam watu dunia mzima wakakuja na zile za mapenzi ni aje mtu yangu mi ni prince kutoka siju wapi natafuta bibi ndio niweze kugawiwa inheritance sababu mzaye hataki kupatia masingo boy na we nimekuwa nikikuchekicheki nini nini naona we unaweza hey kidogo kidogo unaingia box unaanza kutumatuma mapesa pale juu siju kuna pesa zinahitajika kufanya nini ndio ifungue kingdom like uh, a lot of nonsense wa nigeria wakaskam wa mama kwa internet kuruka walikuwa na scam na masimu ma fax you name it then towards the late 90s email ka kam wewe kitu inaitwa yahoo.com in fact jina zao zikabadilika siku hizo wanaitwa yahoo boys sababu walitetemesha deadly na hiyo kitu wanatuma emails left right and center watu wanaingia box deadly mnaingizwa hapo vile mazee yani hao watu wako na pesa wanataka mgawane all you need to do is you send money where 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 watu wanatuma watu wanatuma before long nigerians mazee walikuwa wamesha skuma economy deadly na pesa ya scamming peke yake like they scammed people millions of dollars as it yote ina happen kuna kijana anaitwa Ramon Abbas ana cheki tu anaona wenzake vile wanaomoka na hiki kitu inambamba deadly juu hey what's not to like about the good life hata yanajitupa ndani ya who boy what a one Ramona basa naanza na hizo za internet kuskamu wa mama hapa na pale wa mama hapa na pale wa mama hapa na pale nini nini anapata 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 saa zingine anahata most anapata akaanza kukua ni msana jiweza maze yani pesa iko wase pale ghetto washaanza kutambua wenyewe ndio the real deal anashika pesa vile inafaa maze it was working for him Ramona basa na kama na discover wait a minute 
kumbe huko Nigeria sisi bado ni watoto wadogo wale Nigerians wameenda Singapore si Singapore Malaysia wanaka hey! wanaka funga mbaya sana ana funga safari anaamua ni aje let me go to Malaysia so the thing about Malaysia internet yao maze like pale IT wako tu sawa washajua vile mpaka kuficha ma locations wakati wana scam wase pale Nigeria ni hard ukiscam mtu tunaona tu umeni scam ukiwa kwa soko wewe nimekuona pale Malaysia maze yani tech huko iko next level wanaweza kuscam na usijui hawa wase wako wapi nini so huko eh hey, business inaka kukuwa booming mbaya business is good So Ramona Bas anaingia Malaysia very fast. Anaenda maze anaanza kupiga na shikana na wale wasi walimtangulia maze before him huko before long inakuwa very clear man. The boy anakafunga mbaya. Sasa si tu kutusumbua na manguo deadly deadly sasa tunaanza kuona mapicha kwenye private jets nini mapicha kwenye maze luxury cars na what not. Yaani the boy is living the life ana tesa pale Malaysia mbaya by around 2012 alikuwa shakuwa big deal pale mpaka akabadilisha jina maze pale mtawa anamuita Ramona Bas lakini wasu wa mtandao anamjua na jina moja hash puppy boy anasumbua kuruka akiwa pale maze anapiga mashughuli zake Malaysia maze aka discover wait a minute kumbe bado Malaysia ni tier 2 kuna boy fulani anaitwa Mampi ama ni Mamfi ama ni Memfi Memphis yako Malaysia no Memphis yako Dubai ah oh, next level sasa akiwa pale Malaysia Ramona Bas eke hash puppy hizi magari alikuwa anacheza nazo kumbe ni za makuhaya haya ni nini, nini but anaishi the good life but Memphis pale Dubai hizo magari high end mazeza uh, million dollars siju 450 Gs ni gari zake za personal amenunua na pesa hivi so ina turn out kukuwa kuna kitu deadly sana ina happen ambayo mazendio the next day eh, i mean next level scamming inajita BEC business email compromise so business email compromise ina waka aje sasa hizi ni vitu Ramona na kam kugundua before ende aende Dubai akiwa hapa Malaysia anagundua business email compromise hii kitu ina waka aje Wase wanapiga research wanaangalia ni makampani gani zinakaa kusukuma sukuma pesa nyingi sana. Wanaanza kuona okay my insurance companies nini hizo ma payout nini. Kuna watu ma banks wana okay. So wanakam wanajaribu wana infiltrate email ya one person hapo mwenye kona cheo kwa organization. Either one of the managers, msio finance nini wanakam wanaingia wana infiltrate email ya umjama. Wakipata tu yani makosa tu wapate Eh, logins zako wako wanaweza ingia kwa email yako maze wewe pole wanaingia kwa email yako na wanatulia hakuna kitu wanafanya wana monitor vile mnatumiana ma emails juu wanajua at some point kuna invoice zitaanza kutembea hapa so wanaingia pale wanatulia mna ongeleshana ongeleshana huko kwa ma emails inafika wakati kazi imeshaisha inafika ni wakati wa kulipa si of course mmoja atatuma invoice Mukisha tuma invoice tu hivi wanapiga interception hapo haraka faster wana spoof email yako haraka deadly wana change details kwa invoice na wana change account number na wanapiga email hapo oh isa jo makosa ni yangu nilikuwa nimekuandikia account number mbaya but use this one instead kile ujui ni ile account number wamepea na hapo ni account number yao So as an insurance company is looking to pay out someone hundreds of millions he haifiki kwa the intended person inaenda kwa kina Ramon aka hash puppy so now hakuna kupiga picha kwa hired private jets hakuna kupiga picha kwa magari za kuhaya now they start owning those cars BEC was working perfectly for the boys until akakama kagundua Malaysia ni tier 2 it's time to go to Dubai huko ndio wanapiga hiki kitu vile inafaa full mzuka so Ramona Bas aka hash puppy anapanda ndege teke teke mpaka wapi Dubai Dubai anaenda nakutana na mwarabu fulani huko pia do ni mwarabu ana asili ya Kiafrika anaitwa al 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 mori ama anaitwa al nini akona jina ngumu hebu niambieni huo mwarabu alishikwa pale canadian is actually canadian but akona jina ya kiarabu so anakuwa mabeste deadly wanaanza kupiga watu left right and center bec 
Hey, 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 business email compromise. Wanapiga makampuni alipiga kampuni ingine nasikia collectively by the time Hashpapi anakam mambo yake anakamkisha alikuwa amepiga watu karibu milioni 30. Alikuwa ameenda kupiga mpaka timu ya ball karibu milioni so. Unfortunately for them hiyo mradi ni kama iko go through. So mazee pale Dubai ni kutesa kutesa mazee wanapiga makampuni left right and center. Huyu anapoteza 100,000 dollars, au mwingine anapoteza 900,000 dollars, au mwingine amepoteza 450,000 dollars. Unachikizi si pesa kidogo. Collectively huyu jamaa wakiwa na umu Canadian wake walitandikana 30 million USD. Unfortunately wanasema siku za nyani kufa zikifika miti zote uteleza. Mkanedian akiwa katika pilka pilka zake hana habari FBI washa pick up activity yake na nani na Hashpapi Hashpapi hayuko kwa reda vizuri but huyu Mkanedia ashaingia kwa reda kabisa in fact now the FBI are coming for him na before long walikuwa wamemnasa wakamshika na wakaanza kumonitor maze phones zake emails zake nini nini katika ile pilka pilka ya kumonitor phones na emails wakadiscover kuna mtu anashinda akipiga piga simu sana na ana text text sana na huyu mtu anaitwa nani Ramon Abbas aka Hashpapi wakajua huyu lazima ni person of interest wakapiga upekuzi wakapata hiyo scamming yote hao watu wanafanyaga wakiwa pamoja the canadian guy na Ramon Hashpapi so wakajua this guy needs to go So wakale mtego pale. Of course with intel from this Canadian mwenye wameshika. Huyu Canadian tayari yako ndani, hakuna mali anaenda. So akaambiwa ndio uraisishe mambo wewe tusaidie vile tutashika huyu kijana sababu anasumbua sana. So of course akapatia na intel, mali ya shpapi anakuaga, hoteli gani, nini kila kitu. Mnamo June 2020 Hashpapi akiwa ametulia tu pale kwa hoteli mazee ana pressure na mtu ameshakafunga mbaya asha post hapo mazee e, zile quote zake za Instagram za kuambia watu wafanye kazi na sijui Mungu mbele na wewe unajua ni ushetani unaendeleza haki Instagram hii hi. we see you tumewaona ameshawekelea post yake maridadi hivi ametulia pale akusingizi unajua huni mtu bana asha achieve ako na pesa yake kwa bank nini hana eh? kula vizuri lala mapema Mlango ilipigwa teke bana na swati ya pale Dubai. Sikujua Dubai wako na SWAT. Walifanya mambo yao pale boom mlango ndani. Kuingia kwa hotel room wanapata Ramona kwa hapo ameshtuka. Nafikiria ni wezi wamekuja. Anashindwa who are these low lives? Mnakuja kuniibia mnajua niko na pesa ngapi? He kidogo kidogo anaona ni mavest zimeandikwa SWAT akaambiwa eh hey, gadhe. End of the road bra. Eh weka mikono nyuma kula pingo yako baridi wacha tukusukume ndani. So hiyo ndio siku Ramon Mazi aliarestiwa after kusumbua watu for years akakuwa extradited very fast to the United States sababu most of the people he was coming ama they was coming were actually citizens of the US so US wakasema huyu ni mtu wetu huyu lazima tumnyoroshe vile inafaa so Ramon akapelekwa ndani eh sentence yake ikasomwa i don't know if i have my facts right but i think judge walimpiga 20 plus Yes, sababu ya kusumbua watu dunia mzima. So 2020 ama ni 2021 Ramona kaingia ndani. Expected date of release ni 2042. Yeah. End of the road kwa for someone mwenye alisumbua hii dunia mbaya. Alikuwa anapiga watu left right and center. Ajali we ni show show hii ni retirement nini yako nothing. Zote zilikuwa zinaenda kwa Gucci store. Sidhani kuna watu washaikuwa brand ambassadors wa Gucci kama huyu mjama. Tari sana. Yep. Na hivyo ndio tulisukuma hash puppy ndani. <laughs> End of the road man. Juzi tu nilikuwa kwa mtandao hapa nikaona kijana mdogo wameingia hii mambo ya kuskam watu kwa internet. Amepatikana Larry Forest amekatakatwa yeye na wenzake wanne Nataka nirudi tu hapo kwa Instagram niwaambie Wakati mnaona story za mtu pale kwa Instagram eh hiyo glory mnaona ni, ni ndio, ndio ile story anataka kupush lakini the actual story yenye wase wanafaa kuwa wana push pale kwa mtandao ni tulifikaje kwa hii glory Na mimi waga na solution fiti sana ya hii kitu mimi naweza sema tu 
tuambie ndio tusipoteze hii future generation tuambie your route to he reaches ni what niambie ni aje mini boy wa wash wash hii ndio aksimiwa gana piga risks ni abc and d weji make a decision kama unataka kuingia ama utaki but sikuja hapa kuni preach the good uh, sijui ile good life na hard work na unajua uzuri vizuri wewe chini ya maji wewe ni mwizi you are misleading a whole generation hi vijana wadogo nyinyi ndio mnaingia kwa pressure hapa eh rafiki yako kwa 24 years anaendesha mercedes baridi pia wewe unataka kukula pressure hapo na ujui huu jamaa na hii gari ameipata design gani unataka tu kukula pressure sababu ya mtu na mtu ni mwizi na kuambi but wewe unajiwekelea pressure zake my friend pole pole timing ya kila mtu ni different wewe utaomoka ukiwa 25 mwanzako ataomoka akiwa 18 mwingine ataomoka akiwa 40 hakuna makosa as long as una stay true to you achana na pressure za wase man wase wakakwambia ukweli vile wanapata vitu zao you will be shocked in fact utapata despite the riches wewe una lead a better life than them Junani anataka kuishi maisha ya kushinda kiangalia over the shoulders kila time. Juu unaweza kuwa unafuatwa na mtu na watu. Snow use. Snow use. Uko tu sawa vile uko. Imagine. Sawa da. Nimefungia hapo. Kama imekubamba kuja na mbogi, ikikubamba zaidi, you know what we do. Fanya vile si ufanya. Na watambua sana, nyinyi wa true na unatosha vile uko. Mtu asiwahi kuambia otherwise. Unatosha. Adios muchachos. Peace. Ah. Let's go home now. Let's go home. Tumefunga kazi. Naona musome kwa bidii mkwe mnafunga kazi saa nane kama mimi. Saini saa ngapi? Saa nane na 18. Muliambua musome ametaki kusikia. Ona nimefunga kazi saa nane na dakika 18. Wewe unakaa kwa ofisi mpaka 6:45. <laughs> Soma kwa bidii. Soma. Soma kwa bidii baba. Mm.